The DNSM Zora file is a file which the client uses to look up the database server instance. You can always create the DNSM Zora file on the database server itself and distribute it to the various clients or application servers that will access the database. It is also in the same location by default, Oracle Home Network Admin as the listener.ora and SQL net.ora. So right now I don't have a TNSM Zora. Let me use NetCA to create one. I can specify a naming method. Local naming means I'm going to use TNSM Zora file. Okay. NIS and directory are for other naming uh, methods. Right now I'm not going to use easy connect. So it doesn't matter. Then I give a net service name to create the entry in the TNSM Zora. So the service name is ORCL, which is the database service that's running. The host name is the server that's running the database. And I'm running the listener on the default port on 521. So the database instance has already been properly registered with that listener. I want to perform a test. It uses a default username password, which I need to change here. So it has been able to log into the database successfully. Let me just finish this by giving a uh, net service name. This is the label that I'm going to use in the TNSM Zora pointing to the database service. I'm not configuring another entry. I would need to configure another entry if I need to connect to another database. So maybe a manager or a super user who needs access to multiple databases will have multiple entries in his TNSM Zora file one entry for database on server one another entry for a database on server two and so on so i finished the configuration it tells me the exit code zero means it is exited properly so this is the label i was talking about at the end and this is the service name this is the service name that the database has ad advertised to the listener and this is the label that i'm going to use on my client side so when I connect to this label, I'm asking my client to connect to this host grid control on this port and requesting the listener to allow me to connect to this service. Let me show that to you from SQL plus. Let me show you the difference between the label and the service. So this is my private label, my RCL, but this I cannot change because this is the service name that the database instance itself has registered. So this is how I'm going to look up the database instance. Sorry, SQL plus. There. So my ORCL is a label in the TNSM Zora, but this service name is what the database instance has registered with the listener. And I used NetCA to create the TNSM Zora file.